here we're looking for an escal head. Right there. Nope, that's a Nissan Pathfinder. Indeed. Almost looked like an Escalade for a second. That's the one thing I fucking hate about the front end, it's these fucking cars. You'll sit there and just be like, oh yeah, they're fucking cool. There we go. CXT741 Ford Fusion. That sure looks like Fusion taillights. Uh, and it's a Minnesota plate. So let's double check it physically. One second. Uh, which camera was it? Passenger front. So right, behind, there. right there. So Good. CXT741. You're going yep. double check it real quick. We got it. So yes, Minnesota. Process. And yes. All right, so now you just got to, uh, oh, it's loss prevention. I'm gonna call it in. Okay, that's all there is to it. for what it could be and which camera hit it. This one here we're looking for the, uh, the 2014 Chrysler 200 again. Oh, okay. So, but then again, this is kind of, in, kind of like a flop address that they used, but never hurts to just ride right past it. Yeah. Ooh, what's that? Not the play we're looking for, and the one we're looking for is silver. So we've had camera hits on it here before. Like I said, it's kind of a flop address. Like, oh hey, you know, I can just register here, you know, at the trap house, and nobody will know the difference. You didn't run a credit check on them recently? Yeah, we just ran one about five days ago. Nothing new? Nothing new. So once every couple of weeks, we rerun all of our uh, credit and everything on some of these people. See if we can find out on them, see if there's anything new, any new job hits, anything like that. Like uh, one car we've been looking for forever, uh, we decided that we were actually going to start uploading scans and whatnot. And so after we started doing the uploads for the scans, we actually found out that uh, the vehicle we were looking for was actually over. I just, that's the dump truck I just put a lock cylinder in. <laughs> yeah, one well, of the uh, vehicles we were looking for. I actually found out that uh, the debtor had actually turned it in months ago and was actually sitting in the overflow lot uh, for uh, Chrysler of Roseville. Interesting. 
explain to me who is all putting information into this database. Pretty much everybody that is connected with DRN systems. Like Klein Bank, Wells Fargo, U.S. Bank. They send the information over to DRN. If we don't already have them as a client, and DRN puts it in for us. If we already have them as a client, um, we actually put the information in ourselves. Basically any big name brand lien holder. Chase Auto Finance, GM Financial, um, Capital One, on Toyota Financial Services, you name it, we'll take it for them. And then just in the Minneapolis, St. Paul area, about how many accounts are open right now? Uh, see that number in the bottom? Hot list count, 272,463. That is currently the amount of vehicles in this region that we're looking for. So almost 275,000 cars. About a 80 mile radius. 80, okay. Well, most of them are within that 20 mile radius and then spread farther. Let me see, I'm gonna back up real quick. This, uh, here, I'll show you exactly what I was talking about here in a second. There's a license plate for his garage that's half open. I can't exactly see exactly what it is. It's the scratch here that we're looking for a vehicle. Okay. Any idea what type of vehicle that is right there? Um, I can run it and find out quick. What is that? Here, just give me a license plate real quick. I'll just check it. 437 TPA. 437 TPA, you said? Yep. Almost looks like a Chevy bumper, like a, but I, it's probably not. It could be wrong. Hard to say. Very uh, risky shining flashlights in the alleys, though, because half the time people are like, hey, what are you doing? And they want to come out. Exactly. And that's how you make friends. Exactly. Oh, you're right on the Chevy parts in an 09 Impala. I was going to say Impala, but I wasn't sure. It just looked like that lower bumper half and where the uh, exhaust was placed and everything but that might just be from towing and looking under cars so much. And then, uh, did we get the plate number on that? We did not. So we can actually check a plate manually. So let's, what was the plate number on that? 437. 437. Tango Papa Alpha. No match, so that is not one that's available. We actually have multiple vehicles that are running more cameras now, like uh, the cam trucks. I haven't been able to synchronize it lately, it's just at the beginning of shift, so I don't know if anything new has been put in. Not really anything new gets put in on Sunday night, so I'm not really worried about that. Well, with over 272,000 available, there's still plenty to go get. Exactly my point. So this one here, this one here just got put in tonight. That uh, clear plan car? Yep. This one here is actually for Wisconsin title loan. So it's 50-50 if it's even in the DRN system or not. But we've had camera hits at this address numerous times, so I may as well go and check it. Now it's my cameras that have actually come across that. So I'm the only one that has that line going through the middle. So pretty much we ran credit on this guy, and uh, he shows up at a whole different address, all the way down over off of Banneker, like in the other, uh, like in the southern part of Northside, like like Van White Memorial and uh, Plymouth area. You know what I'm talking about, right? Yep. Yep. So, pretty much, uh, my cameras have come across him multiple times on this road here. on the street. Yeah, and I can't tell if that's a towel up there or not. Except I'm not seeing it right now. Yeah, I'm not seeing it either. Cruise the alley? Cruise the alley. I think I've towed cars out of this apartment before. Probably. It's an older 03 towel we're looking for.
show them are right around in here. Let's see if. Uh, I have either towed cars or made keys for pretty much everybody around here, so. Been in all these alleys. Then again, taking a look at when this guy's been here versus when he's uh, not been. Yeah, it's usually between like the hours of like 8 p.m. and midnight. So who knows, he can actually possibly be at work as well. Driver's oh. There we go, what do we got? It says it's a yeah, that's GMC a, Acadia. But that's a Jeep Cherokee in the picture. But it's a Minnesota plate. Yeah, but this goes off of a national database too. Yeah. Oh, that totally is a Jeep Cherokee. So, so it's no, it's not. Process. Invalidate. Yep. All right. So sometimes there are false hits, but that is 100% a Jeep. I'm glad it gives us a picture too. So a lot of these people will get the car, never pay for it until it gets repoed then only give the bank enough money to satisfy them and continue not paying for it. And it's just an endless cycle. Keeps so, me in business. Same people. Over and over and over. Uh, says it's a Nissan Titan, but it does not look like... I'd go back and just double check just to be sure, but I don't think it is. Yeah, I'm just looking for a place to turn around real quick. Just... UE right here? Yep. Yeah, that, to me that does not look like a pickup just because of the triangular shaped tail light. It's like when you go to a thrift store and look at all the shelves 17 times and every time you see something new. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, this one. Still up there? Excuse me. You think you can give me a jump? What's that? You think you can give me a jump? My battery died. We don't have cables, brother. No. I would if I had cables. Sorry, man. No. Alright, there's how you secure legal autos after. Or illegal on the top, I should say. Yeah, you never know, man. Never know what those people want. As soon as you get out of their car, sometimes they'll try to rob you. Yep. So, can't fall for whatever bullshit's trying to go on. Where's this car anyway? He's not standing next to a car. Like. Yeah, that's kind of why I'm like, uh, what? Do we even have cables in here? Nope. I didn't think so. What do you think the best places are to go back and forth and look for cars. Where do you find the most of them? Lower income housing. Lower income housing? Uh, that does make sense. I mean, it does kind of sound fucked up, but at the same time, why not? Well, the, uh, it is a financially unstable issue, so look for where the financially unstable issues are. I mean, that's that makes sense. Like that In the guy's nicest way to put it. Look at that guy standing on the street corner looking for a jump. Yep. So what days are the best and the worst for finding stuff? Sundays and Mondays are probably the best. Tuesdays are iffy, but now that bars are closed, as well as Wednesdays. Uh, Thursdays are usually missed. Fridays are just dog shit. reason why I say Fridays are dog shit because everybody's out on Fridays partying or doing exactly. whatever. Everybody has this great idea. Yeah, I can blow my check if I pay my bills. Oh, well, what do you know that you have me coming around? Uh, either he's still working on it or he just forgot the light was on. Let's just leave the light on in the middle of the shittiest alleyway in North Minneapolis. That's a good idea. We got the light was on. You think we left any tools out? 
little yeah. trash can. Everything gets stolen around here, and I mean everything. So there's a trash can that's literally chained to a stop sign. <laughs> a trash can. That tells you what part of the neighborhood we're in. Right now about 3 a.m. Yeah, 2.45. DPL 174. All right, we just got this hit. Uh, hard to tell from the picture, it might be. It's supposed to be a Chevy Cruze. So we're gonna just go around the block and uh, take another look to see if it's what we're looking for. So passenger front, so obviously it'd be on your side, right here somewhere. So it should be. This uh, gas station got burned down during the riots, so it's basically just been a demolition project since then. But I think it's be this one right here. No, oh, that's a Honda. And there's a Cruze. Nope, there it is. Yep, Chevy Cruze. All right. Yep, that's it. Uh, Park up here. Go ahead and uh, verify for the plate. Yep. And then uh, we'll see who has the order, Primaritus. Thank you.